Go, man. Cigar rock here, man. Chillin', man. Yo, watching Champagne. What's up, yo? This is Big Meth right here. And y'all watching Champagne. Jerry, stand up. It's your boy, She Lewis. Yo, X, D-Block, man. Champagne TV, y'all already know. I'm gonna be hosting, like, game shows and shit on that shit. What's up? This is your girl, Digga Digga, birth name, Rashia, and you are watching Champagne. This is Red, man. I'm in the building. You already know. Shout out to the Champagne Room. Radio show, baby. Y'all, this is Can't Go Kid from legendary rap group UTFO. And what you doing right now is you're checking out the Champagne Room Radio Show. You heard? Yo, this your boy Chris Ock from the old 54. And when I'm out chilling, I'm chilling at the Champagne Room Radio with Tanya Champagne. Getting it in Brick City style. Yeah, yeah, what's up? This trigger trench here. Nip, 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 naughty nation. Naughty by nature doing it. Yo, you better check out the Champagne Room because we're doing over my mama T. Yo, and it's going to be real on and popping, yo. Ask somebody, yo. Can't take you nowhere. That's why I take your ass everywhere. Tune in. Welcome to the Champagne Room. Relax. I got you. Have you ever closed your eyes and gone to a special place in your mind? Can I take you there? Realize that down your God, unwind. It's been a long day, and I know you deserve to feel good. So let's sip some champagne and take away the day before I make you feel like you should. Baby, I just wanna welcome you, welcome you. To the champagne room hey. Every Thursday from 7 to 9 7 to 9 hey. I'll be waiting for you Just come inside Come inside Tonight We can drink and drive On some red lights Tonight Yes, yes, yes. Y'all already know. It's your girl, Tanya Champagne, and you are tuned into the Champagne Room radio show on GS Radio Nork, our radio station. And we are here at the hub. And y'all already know my bro, my bro, bro over there. He got y'all know Reek don't usually be out like this, but you know it got to be some something special going on for Reek to be out here like this. <laughs> so I'm going to show y'all what's going on that's special here in the Champagne Room. First of all, let me say. Thank you to the Lord up above. I have to say that before I start anything, before I start it off. Thank you for today. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for another year. Happy New Year to everyone. And my girl Mina Black is in the building along with my boy Kayla. Ah, y'all on the air. Y'all on the air. What's good? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? We got Kilo up here, y'all. Y'all believe what, that? What? <laughs> oh, in the my building. goodness. Absolutely, absolutely. So you already know we um are so honored to have you here on the Champagne Thank you Radio for with us. We this are is home and y'all are family, so that's right. All day. That's right, that's right. We are we are um you know, I guess because you know, knowing that you haven't been here, you know, and you've been you know, you kinda of been away, you come when you you know, when you can or whatever, we had to get you on the show. That was Absolutely. just. I'm like, I don't know about the snow. <laughs> I don't know about the snow, but we gonna do something about the snow. <laughs> so we gonna get, we gonna get through this. As you were supposed to actually be leaving today, so yeah. I was like, God, he ain't even gonna be able to come on. Oh my God, when he said, when he said, Oh, um, I'm not leaving till Saturday. You want to do the show tomorrow? <laughs> I was like, What, Mina? Yeah. Hello, Mina? I need you to. <laughs> 
I was like, yes, I don't have no car, but somebody come pick me up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So we are so, again, we are just really honored and, and, you know, to have you. And you already know you, my boy. You've been my boy, like, all my life. So Word. that's just an, another story. But um, <laughs> so what's going on? You got you to gotta let us yes. know what's happening. Well, you know, it is, um, this is a time where it's a great time. It's a good time and a bad time. Okay. The bad right. time for me is my brother cut. Mm-hmm. Passed away. I mean, right. from to you. yeah, that's like yeah. everybody who know me knew Cut. That's right. Everybody that's right. in Newark who knew Jersey, Jersey Block Entertainment, that's or right. Or knew OCM back in the day, or knew anything that had me involved, you knew Cut. That's right. That's so, right. and even if you went to Sensations back in the day and you didn't know Cut back then, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you was dancing to the hip hop in the hip hop mm-hmm. room, that was Cut on the wheels okay. of steel at that's 15 right. years old. That's right. At 15 <laughs> years right. old. Oh, okay. So I came up. Um, yesterday was uh, his celebration of life, you right, know, right. and um, it was crazy because it was kind of a private gathering this time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we knew that Cut would, if, if Cut got his way, right. it would have been a nice sunny day. It would have been in the summertime. Yes. And it would have been a thousand people outside, <laughs> cars up the street, and all his yes. music playing. Exactly. And it would have just been live as he is, you it, know what I mean? Right. But right. we know that at the end of the day, that was just a body. Mm-hmm. Cut already gone. God called him. You know what I mean. Right. He up looking down like, represent, bro. That's right. Represent. <laughs> That's right. Don't never forget, bro. All the stuff we talk. I mean, I think one of the things that was the hardest for me is that was the one man on this planet that knew all my secrets. Right. And right. I and now I'm alive with all his. Right. You know what I right. mean. So a part of me died with cut. Right. Right. But right. another part of me came alive. Okay. And now I got to represent even harder than I ever did. So now. It's, it's awesome. And, you know, and, and, and everything happens for a reason. Right. Because I'm here mm-hmm. with y'all. And That's guess right. what? I just, yes. I'm sitting here talking to my brother, Tariq. That's right. And we playing <laughs> in this next chapter of life. That's yes. right. You know what I mean? That's and we, right. look, we both looking at each other. We got yes. Gracie, Mike, mine That's covered right. up. You know, I got a little black, black rinse on mine. You need you to let really that gray grow in. Okay. <laughs> I think that salt and pepper is so sexy to me. I like salt listen, and pepper. Let that gray go no in. Problem. Listen, I have tried the salt and pepper thing. And you know, <laughs> it, it just be, it, look, right? it be killing me. I, I said, it started right here on one side. Uh-huh. And then it just said, swoop. <laughs> and I looked and I said, oh, hell to the knob. This ain't going to work. <laughs> So I said, what's that stuff? I called my cousin Tony. Hey, man, what's that stuff? Beijing? Beijing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I do the little black exactly. rent saying now. And, and I would have never right. known he didn't say anything. You would have known. No. So it's well, supposed to be natural. Looks, natural. It's supposed natural. to look young like I'm in my 30s. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm but wrong with that, a black no crack. We'll it's going to right. crack. That's you know? right. <laughs> but I said, you know, when I get to a point, when I get into the, you know, 50s and I got all the rest of my life to be great. That's you know right, what I mean? Right, so I might right, as well right. get hold on to a little bit of black. Youth right, right? Now, exactly. Like youth look, that's, that's right. right. Especially we dealing that. with the youth. We talking to the youth. That's so right. we can't be talking to the youth looking too old. You know what I mean? We got a caller too. We got a caller too. He said, "They be like grandpa trying to tell me what to do in the hood. Do you look like you about 70. Because kids are disrespectful like that. They sure will. They don't understand. that the great happening." In, in 30s right. and 40s, they don't, right. they don't yeah. really get it. So, yeah. you know, we right. had to do that. You know, we had to. <laughs> but, Absolutely. But it was but, nice. Uh, well, thank you. I so like it. See, I would have never... Back. I would have never known if no, you didn't no, say no. anything. No, no, he need to let the grace oh grow in. He need to let the grace grow in. Your look wonderful. Well, thank you. I would have never <laughs> known. That is so crazy. But it's okay. Well, I'm not mad at well, you. Look, but some so. of those photos, I don't even have hair on there. It was just like, you, you, but you know... But what happened is, you know, you shave sometime, and then people look look at me like, man, where the beard at? <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I'm, I ain't going to shave no Let more. Let it grow you know? in. Let you it grow look in. 10 years younger without the beard. I do look young without yeah, a beard, for I'm real. Sure you I do. do. Yeah. And sometimes it ain't it ain't that good. You know how you, like, bro, wait a minute. You be like, you 30, you like. <laughs> that's okay. Too much confusion. You yeah, know what I mean? No, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yep. That's exactly love. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but, I, but okay. you know, but. Outside, you know, life is good. Yeah. Right. Life good. is good. I think good. I think life is the bomb now because we appreciate it more. Right. You know, right. We, when I, you know, like, when I'm sitting here with y'all, like, we went to school together. We grew up. That's right. I'm, That's like, right. happy to see you, period, no matter exactly. what's going on in your life. It's like, yeah. yo, what's up? <laughs> I'm still looking at her like, Tanya sitting behind a mixing board. Just- <laughs> when did that happen? You know what I mean? 
<laughs> like you're a techie, you know what I mean? What's happening? <laughs> Like, you know, I'm like, Monster. look at Tariq. I'm like, look, he's yes, with the camera. You know? He's like, yo, I engineer now. I'm doing all. I'm yes. like, when did all this happen? But I get it because, you know, yeah. we we learn as we get older. We right. got to learn more stuff. Absolutely. We got to keep learning. It just make us better. That's you know right. what I mean? That's right. It's a blessing that, you, you know, Prince Street was something serious right. growing up back in the day as well. Like what? you talk about That's Prince right. Street. That's right. People were still dying then. Mm-hmm. And even though it's more now, but it was still killings then. That's right. And a lot of, you lost, I'm sure you lost a lot of friends even back then, even yeah. as teenagers. Even back then. That's why you're so happy to see them now that's right you see them that's happy right. you see them healthy prosperous that's mm-hmm. and that, that's how i feel if i see a friend i don't care where you at in life if you look good hey i haven't seen you in like 20 years that's right it's a blessing that's right you see a friend from elementary right now that's from right. high school right now because so many has fallen off that's right and Newark was like whoa Absolutely. Yeah. this was a heavy place to live if you survived Newark, you the real you the real og you the real og I'm serious. <laughs> you are the real that's og right. if you survived right. Newark. Absolutely. Oh, Paul Lee, because you had Seth Boyden, you yeah. had Prince Street. My right. God, they had no places locked That's down. Right. Yeah. So I stayed where I stayed in a little, you know, middle class area. Uh, <laughs> I want playing over there in them hoods. <laughs> I want playing in them hoods over there. <laughs> and that's it. And that's Good the job. total different. I was the total opposite. I was all over. I was in yes, all the hoods. Yes. Every hood. Every hood yes. I could possibly be in. Yes. Then I left New, New, New Jersey and went to New York to what? their hoods. Yes. Listen, listen. <laughs> When we was in, when we was in Scott, all right, for the record, <laughs> from Newark, right? But when I got a chance to go to high school, mom said, we, you cannot go to West Side. That's right. It's not going to happen. Me either. We're going to use your cousin address. That's right. You're going to an East Orange I, I school, right? I went to Scott, right? too. So I went over to Scott, <laughs> That's right? That's right. So I meet Ty over there in Scott. Now, let me tell you about Ty and Scott. <laughs> there you go. Ty was one of those people that came into school, and you were like, who is that? <laughs> And where she get that from? <laughs> yeah. I mean, she was Gucci, wow. MCM, wow. Polo. Yo, listen, <laughs> listen. So one day I asked, I'm like, yo, where you know, where you get that? She was like, Brooklyn. <laughs> I was like, oh! Yes! <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I was like, where's Brooklyn? <laughs> you know, a little nook boy be like, where's Brooklyn at? And be like, yo, no, they got to catch the, they go downtown. They get on the path, uh-huh. and they go to the whole other state, yo. It's right. a whole other mm-hmm. state across That's the world. Really. And I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. So I started doing. calling her BK. When I, yeah. was, I was like, uh-huh. BK. Exactly, because when I was when I knew Sugar, she was like wearing polo. Like, where you get that from? Well, I'm going to the village, but she never took me. She never took you? I gave her for that. She didn't want to I expose those connects no. I gave, to I that I gave freshness. her for that. She was supposed to come and got me <laughs> and took me to get some polo suede sneakers. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? Okay. I, I hooked yeah. you up, though. I hooked yeah. you up. You had to work for that freshness. <laughs> you, when you find your fresh, you can't just give it that's away. Right. You know, that's, that's right. That's your fresh. That's you know? right. That was her yeah. signature. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. She, 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 she came back with something. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, you taking right. me next time. Well, that that yeah. that really came from being around Biz and them all my life. You know, yeah. I was around Biz. You know, yeah, I was basically yeah. So being around them, I was like, you know, uh, like I need to, you know, then not you know, the Brooklyn accents. I don't know, it was just something about them Brooklyn. accents. I just love them Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn. Yes. What she said? Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Wherever that is. Elo <laughs> ain't right. Elo is not right. Did he wind up in Brooklyn himself? You know, <laughs> later on in life, right? Oh, See, this now, is Brooklyn. That's the part uh-huh. I can't wait to get to. Oh my yeah. God! How yeah. did it all start? You got to. Do- Start from when the you beginning. started from the beginning when you knew you was a writer <laughs> and you knew you was an artist and whatever. Yes, what? everything about. Yes, because uh. you ain't even here without singing the blues. Must stop singing the blues. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even here without so, telling. He can see. sing too. Wait, but we, you know we're gonna talk about that later. So yeah, as a. Uh, you said, sing too? Like, whoa. <laughs> Look, Tariq sitting there and sound like, Scotty. Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> well, he yes. goes go to the hip hop part. <laughs> All right, so look, as in rap, see, check this out. People don't know oh, this, right? People don't know this. I think when I when I was taken serious, probably was 15 years old. Oh, right? early. And people don't know. I'm a I'm an original member of the Flavor Unit. That's people right. That. That's right. Really? And let me tell you why. It wasn't because, you know, 
I hooked up with Queen Latifah and hooked up with Apache and all of them and I became a member. No. 45 King started the Flavor Unit. Mm -hmm. I was signed to 45 King as an artist. Mm -hmm. So when he started Flavor Unit, I was already signed to him. Mm -hmm. We was in the basement when, I don't know who that was, came, knocked on the window, and they said, yo, got this girl, we gonna do a demo, and he did three songs for $1,000, mm -hmm. and it was Queen Latifah's demo. Wow. Wow. We were there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like, that's going back. That's like I'm in the basement. I'm sitting next to a legend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> that's, like, that's like back in the day. Yes. Newark, real underground real, That's stuff, right. You know? That's right. That's so, right. You know, after that, we was doing, you know, doing demos, selling stuff out the car in the in the hood. And mm -hmm. I think uh, somebody, I remember when I first met Lauren, she said, I thought y'all was a clothing line. <laughs> I said, why you say that? She said, because we saw OCM scarves. And T-shirts so all over the hood by White Castle. Uh -huh. And Castle's putting the scarves around their um, their mirrors. Mm -hmm. It was because of Cut. Because Cut knew everybody right. in the hood was handing out the scarves to every other thug all around uh -huh. the world. Oh, that's I'm talking about, that's well, right. we had killers so rocking this stuff. City. We didn't know some of these cats. Uh -huh. They were just everywhere. Right. Like, he had an boom. OC scarf on. It, like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was crazy. But, I mean, we, we literally, we had a big... Newark had a big family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, had a, we had a big family. Like, I'm sitting here with the leader of the figure fam right yes, here. Who had yes. the song Hood Love in the yes, building. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm yeah, telling you. Man. I mean. I heard one of his. Everybody don't know Misunderstood. It was a lot of rappers. <laughs> it was a lot of rappers here. A lot. Yeah. That yeah. was doing a this lot of great stuff. This was home. Everyone. Even from New York. They would come yeah. over here. This was their home. Yeah. yeah. They come to Club Sensation. Well, they yeah. tried to come to yeah. Club Sensation <laughs> until they well, were until they were them. chased back to I Business mean, Nation. Exactly. They go oh, back to New York them. City. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. that ha that happened plenty of times. Yeah, Newark was off the chain. It was yes, just, it was. Yeah, it was, I yeah we were you, very you territorial. Up, you can come up out of them walls. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> watched Warriors a little bit too much. <laughs> really serious over here. Exactly. <laughs> really exactly. serious over here. No, we won't We had two clubs. Well, you can't be coming up here. We had about three clubs. We was trying to protect, right? That's right. What was that one? Sensation, uh, Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Club 88. Club 88, that was like that's hours. right. Okay. So when New York people came over trying to like say, oh, mm -hmm. we're going to just come show our dancing skills in y'all little Jersey clubs. Man, we ain't like, playing that. Man, we don't get you. Follow that one. <laughs> right back to Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come over here with them new moves. We That's got right. our moves and we stick to our moves. Yeah. You know, it was only certain people that got real respect right. over That's here. I'm right. going to tell you, like, yeah. BDP, when they came, mm -hmm. yeah. Production? Yeah. Yo, yeah. what? Love them guys. When yeah. Ice Cube and the Lynch Mob came. Right, mm -hmm. right. When X-Clan came. Oh. Okay. Big Daddy Kane came. Yeah. Right. They got respect in the club. Yeah, they right. came to club. They it respect like, us. It was like, yeah. It come with respect. That's right. No, no, they must have got the memo from the other ones. Yeah, they, they Don't go right. up in like, there. Don't come in there. Don't that, you know what I mean? Go up in there, mellow, man. Lay That's back. Right. Look, watch right. them. Watch the vibe and kick back. That's right. Don't go up in there doing Don't no trying to do no the footwork. That's right. See, Ice Cube, <laughs> he got it off because he had about... 50 people. So it was like, oh, okay, but he got oh, all it's hard for okay. 10 people to fight oh, 50 course, people. So. Course, course, course. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That lynch mob thing was very serious. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? BDP like, too. They was just so see, deep. But see, maybe that's why they got the memo. Yeah, they got he the memo. He came with the that's gang. Right. Like, you got to you got to call up Newark, y'all. They had a damn meeting about it. They that's went it. to the round table with it. <laughs> like, listen, we going into Newark. Listen, shut the hell up. That's Don't right. bring that shit over Do there. I'm just kind of go up in there, right. and then hang out, and chill. We going home. Give, yes. give Newark a shout out. Give Newark a shout out. Say PSP. There you go. Say the project. Seven to half. Oh yeah, they got the memo. Yeah, they had the memo. They run these circles over there. Yeah, Zucker had that. Yeah. Had to say they the certain got the name. memo because, like you said, yep. he came in how many deep? Yeah, fifty. At least. He, he got they got the yeah, memo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they all had to say lynch mob on the back so they know. We they yeah. know the day was the game. We got a call. A rebel yeah. has called. Rebel Rebel's one, what up, yes. Red? Yo, What's happening with your brother? Big Key, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain, brother. <laughs> hey, you, hey! Listen, this cold is unmerciful, bro. I came outside. You know how you try to say and take a little selfie with the snow behind you. I was like, uh, uh, the fingers stuck. like I was like, okay, enough of that. There. Yo, me, me and my little brother went out. And we was playing a little laser tag. Mm -hmm. He shot me like three times. 
<laughs> and it was over. The fun was that was over. it. My the fingers, I couldn't up. pull the trigger no more. The gig was up. It was like, over. I said, yeah. you it won. We're going in the house. Yeah, it's it's really cold. Right. <laughs> it is really cold. Jack Frost won, damn it. So what's good? What's good, Rebel? Ooh, Ooh, look at that. How's the weather? Out of Florida, Orlando, just chilling. But you know, I still love y'all. I still love y'all. <laughs> 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 Everywhere Everywhere I still love y'all. That's and right. Real quick, special shout out. Rest in peace to my big brother, Tut. That's wow. right. That's right. You know what I mean? Because if it wasn't, let me tell you something. If it wasn't for Kilo, I wouldn't have known Tut. Okay. Right. Yeah, boy, and Big Tut, this is, this is not known either. Tut is the, the person who formally introduced me to Hussein Fable. Okay, right. okay. Like prior to that, me and Fader would see each other in the street and we'd just give each other the head nod. Mm. What's up, what's up, what's up? And then he bought Fader in the studio. I think, Kilo, was you there? <laughs> My memory ain't what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look, after a, thousand, after a thousand studio sessions, you start forgetting them, man. Right. It's too many. So, I think, I, I remember this one because um, Fader was just building a studio in Newark. Okay. Downtown, downtown, there, okay. And, and cut brought him up there, and we vibed and everything. And, yo, it was a good time, man. I, I remember all that stuff. I run back with Kilo, and just to let y'all know, Kilo is probably, in my opinion, one of the best writers of our generation. Yes, yes. Uh, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Hands down. Hands down. Well, you caught Lawrence. Oh, thank you, brother. Yes, hands down. Hands down. I just called to shout y'all out, show some love, and everybody take care of themselves. Be safe out there in that cold. Word. I love y'all. Be safe, and I'm going to get off this horn and let other people talk to my brother. Absolutely. Rebel we dog. love you, too. Thanks for calling in. We appreciate you. The lights are serious. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you back. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> dripping over here. I see him glistening. You <laughs> hot? <laughs> I said, like, he was talking, I said, he glistening. I'm like, the shine over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. You sweating? Yeah. Yes. It feel cool over the, here to me. All right, let I'm me, under the beans. We going we gonna um I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the uh banner on. Oh, we got so nobody call. won't see you. But you get another mm-hmm. call, so you're gonna have to what be my live doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling GS Radio Newark, you on the champagne room. How can I help you? Oh, we know he can. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Hey, hold on one hold on one second. All right, Key, you 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 um it's the sis. It's the queen. Get some love. Gail Campbell on the phone. <laughs> Say queen what's unique. up. What's up, my brother? You know I love you, right? What's up? I love you too, Queen. What's happening? Look, I'm so proud of you. I need for you to go back in the archives a little bit. Uh-huh. And talk about talk about you know, see you to your sheen days. Talk about that black and gold Bonneville. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. She said, 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 I didn't get to see you today. You know, I couldn't get to the to the to cut service because I was off snow day. You know, I had no husband. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. But, um, you know, I, I said my I said I I said my goodbyes in my heart. Right. right. You know, you know, I love him so much, and you know, I have very very fond memories of C U T. Word. And um, I, I was hoping I'd be able to see you, but. You know what? I'll catch you next time. Word. You know I'll be back. <laughs> this is home. You got to talk about that porch on South Clinton Street. <laughs> Word. UPA, United Poets Association. <laughs> yes. Word up. All right, y'all. Y'all have fun. I'm watching, I'm watching on your live. All Word. Right. Word. <laughs> All right. Love you, sis. Talk to you later. You too. All right. Thank you, Mina. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I think we got, um... She made me think of a point. You got some, you got some water, brother? Okay. Look, look. All right, I'm going to okay, go ahead and grab that. Nice. Yes, sir. We're going to put that on. Oh, there. thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> look, you know it's yeah, love when you got something. Tariq handing you the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought yeah. some, I thought it was something Tariq to have drink. Somebody, uh, he had like three other people I know you brought some bubbly. Look, when he bring you the water, 
You That's love. That means you're in the building. You are in the Some building. It's down. official. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's official. You got a phone call? Yeah, well, they're they going to call back. They, I guess they, right. they, yeah, they'll call back. All so, right, so Gail just remind me of something. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about the life-changing part. Because, mm -hmm. let's see, when we, was in the, when we was young, we was in them streets, right? And a lot of people don't know, but I was a stick-up kid. Ooh. That was like my thing. I didn't know how – I wasn't like not a drug dealer. That wasn't, I wasn't good at – Distributing. I wasn't good at that. That wasn't my <laughs> thing. It was easier to just, Snatch hey, give me what you got. Snatch and go. and, and we were like, I don't know if it was like a Robin Hood thing because we only robbed hustlers. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was the only All thing. Right. We so weren't robbing regular people. So you wasn't robbing the poor. The, no, robbing, we was robbing people robbing who we thought. The poor, yeah, yeah. We was robbing hey, people who was we thought. He was on his Robin Hood. You they was a black more than enough. You more than enough. They weren't going to And they didn't appreciate it. Oh, okay, okay. So we was like, you know what? Let's get them. They have the money. Let's get them, hey, right? <laughs> you know. What I'm so yeah. that 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 was our everyday thing. We woke dangerous. up every day and we did that every day. Really? Every single day. Wow. Until this one day. Well, this one brother, his name is Saladin. He's from Bergen Street. Mm -hmm. He got smart. He told us to come see him because he knew we was coming to see him anyway. Mm -hmm. We was coming to see him, you know, tap them pockets, coming to see him. Oh, oh. But he knew we was coming to see him, so he told us. Yo, come down. I got something for y'all. So we we go down there and we just jump out the car and we standing on the block. We looking around. Next thing you know, cops jump out, mm -hmm. grab us, throw us on the ground, everything. So we sitting there like it was me, Cut, and 14K. Mm -hmm. And oh wow. And had a, I mean had us down and we sitting there like what's up? We ain't doing nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, they found a gun in the car. They found some drugs oh, in the car. Okay. So. They locked us up for something that was really not. Remember, I said I was not a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. I was charged with kingpin distrib distribution. Wow. Because Saladin said so. Oh. Mm. Yeah. oh. Yeah, that's what he, that was the best way to get us off them streets, right? Oh, yeah. So we go up to Caldwell Prison. Mm -hmm. We check in. As soon as we check in, 14K, they tell him, which one of y'all is Andre Moore? He's like, him. He walked right out. We like, what the? Wow. How you get out? He called his mom. <clears throat> out of there, right? Mm. Cut. The next day, Cut, I think, Cut, matter of fact, his girlfriend, Tanya, but as a matter of fact, it was his first baby mom. He called her. He was out the next day. Bam, gone. Wow. So I'm sitting in jail, right? $1,000 <laughs> bell. Skinny. 17 years <laughs> old. Skinny like a twig. I don't know if y'all <laughs> seen my son, but he's like that. Uh -huh. I'm like, yank. Right, <laughs> soaking wet. Huh? So it's like, and I'm on this tier with these 15 different brothers. So one brother, his mother had a birthday. So I drew this card, like happy birthday, and put a rose on it. He came back in like, yo, my mother loved it. Anything, anything you need, I'm there. So I had a bodyguard. Now uh -huh. I'm skinny, 17 with a bodyguard, all grown men around me, right? So then one night, everybody starts singing. Mm -hmm. Now grown men. Magic when you came. Uh -oh. Everybody just uh -oh. like. So yes. I started hitting the note. He was like, "Yo, you got a, you got a note." And I was like, "All right, I'll hold it." You know, my dad used to sing. I'm gonna sing a little note. Right. Make a long story short, some OG dude came to me. Now, remind you, I'm a thousand dollar bail. It's already been eight days. Nobody bailed me out. Mm. All my friends are home. I'm still skinny in a grown man's prison. Right. Like, oh man, this is crazy. So, the guy sit down and say, "Look, man, you got talent. You was in here drawing. You was in here rapping." He was in here singing with us. Don't come back. That's right. Don't come back to this place, man. <laughs> right. So finally, my mother got with her sisters, and they grabbed up that, you know, it was hard in the hood back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Gathered yeah. up them hundreds. That's, That's right. You That's know right. what I mean? You got, got me out with the $1,000 bell, and when I came home, I said, you know what? I am going to dedicate myself to music. That's right. I'm going to do something different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I knew... You know, like I used to always tell Cut, when you give up the streets, you're going to go through this transition. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going right. to be, you're going to, now before I went in, I was in the streets. I even had yeah. weed connect. I had everything. I, and I ain't terrible <laughs> drug dealer. That wasn't my thing. But I, for some reason, I, I was the weed connect too. I don't even know how. <laughs> but it was like, I lost my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. As soon as I came home, lost, she was the, pfft, I wasn't, I wasn't in the streets no more. I ain't having no more. Right. I moved in my aunt's house. I was in their basement. Mm. I wrote my whole demo and my album in my aunt's basement, sleeping wow. on the floor when it was wow. cold. I mean, it was like a true sacrifice. Wow. So when we got that record deal with Quincy Jones, mm -hmm. it was like, 
Holy oh. smokes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. An opportunity to change your life. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And, it, and that's what I always tell, like, me and Tariq, we always talking to young people. That's right. But when I talk to them, I always tell them, I say, hey, man, I'm not talking to you from the place of uh, I'm this guy who bigger than you, better than you. No, dude, I would have stuck you up back in the day. Mm-hmm. I would, and I'd show them. I'd tell them, like, Look at me in my eyes. I remember Latif used to, Latif was like my hood father. And you remember Latif too, don't you? you he was the, and he'd tell you, look that person in the eye and let them know you ain't playing. Right. And when I talk to the youth now, man, I let them know, no, listen, everything you thinking you want to do, I probably done did it. Right. And right. I was blessed to get a, a second chance. That's right. I didn't get killed while we was out there trying to stick people up. Because mm-hmm. nowadays you try, you, you get immediately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You hear the oh, stick-up yeah. kid die oh, yeah. in- immediately yes. mm-hmm. nowadays. Yes, today, you know, yeah. Everybody with their concealed carry and everything. Something. Yes. Back then, guns wasn't that, uh, you know, no, wasn't that popular. No, it wasn't that available right. for us. It was us. like serious no. just to have you, one. You, you and know? you were scared to even have one because you didn't want to shoot your damn self. We just wanted to get experience. And then you exactly. go show your friends hoping you ain't pop a cap in their ass by mistake. Oh, you're trying to show them. So it wasn't ready available. So that's exactly. why we did a lot of fist fighting. Exactly. Which was, you know... Boy, you can't do that shit no more. They're peeling your cap back. Boy. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a new day. Absolutely. It's a new so, day. And, and I think the, uh, people don't respect life the way they should. No. Right. No. You know? I no. Mean, but I'm happy to be here mm-hmm. and to have made it to even talk about it. That's, that's right. To, that's right. To share it with some of the young cats because they be like, man. And I'm down south. I'm concealed carry now. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So when okay. I meet some of the young brothers and I mm-hmm. talk to them and I be like, I be like, look, I was facing all of that did all of this mm-hmm. and now I'm legal. Right. And I'd be like, boom, look, boom. They'd be like, oh, you got a gun on you right now? Right. right. Hold up, man. I'm, I'm on probation. <laughs> I can't be around you. And I'd be like, no, but see, that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. You can get an expungement for okay. one felony right. in a lifetime. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you know, you educate them and I tell them, I got an expungement. I had a felony. Right. right. I got that. But you can only get one expunge per lifetime. Mm-hmm. Wow. So that gives a lot of brothers a second chance. Even 14K, Got an expungement. Now he got a conceal. Oh, okay, carry. okay. So I, we be laughing about it now. We're like, oh, gangster cat. Now you got, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, carry, you all legal. Hello, hello, hello. You know what I mean? I be carrying, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. But, you know, when, when was it when we really needed this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But look, back to some positive stuff here. <laughs> right? look, and you know what? You, look, see, that was mic, positive. Huh? See, when you look at this mic, look, <laughs> it's different topics for different <laughs> We were just on the north side. Right. We were going to go to the hub side. <laughs> <laughs> where where Prince Pres- Street has reinvented themselves. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. Damn it. We would have like, never been down right. here back in the day. Now to the yes. hub side. You right. know, yes. You know, the community is great. <laughs> you you know, play too much. And you mentioned someone that I know. Okay. Latif. Latif, mm-hmm. wow, mm-hmm. big Latif, wow. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. I remember. I saw his photo because y'all went down your timeline. Okay. I was like, oh my god, we're friends on Facebook. And I said, wow. And you know what's so funny? He knew that I was a singer, and he was telling his cousin about me, okay. and we just never got around to it. So, right. Right. but I was like, wow, it's yeah, a small that, that, world. Let me tell you something. That dude was my hood dad. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you. I heard he was a good guy. I mean, that guy was one of those guys where he was very charismatic Mm -hmm. around people's parents and women. Mm -hmm. He smiled at you and you'd be like, (gasps) he was big, (laughs) black, handsome, Uh Uh you know, but he also was that other guy that you didn't play with. Right. And that guy would not hesitate to lay you down. Right. And, you know, if he loved you, you didn't have to say no more. It right. Absolutely. Sizzling, you know? Mm-hmm. And I mean, that that guy was literally, like, I mean, we was like 15 and 16 years old. This guy was already 27, 20, mm-hmm. I mean, but he let us hang with him. Right. And he showed us the street and showed us the ropes. And, you know, I mean, I'm, that's I was life. Blessed, blessed to have somebody like that in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you that's know? life. You know, you had older people, you know, older guys and stuff like that. People may say, oh, that was no. We, when dads were not around, mm-hmm. you had the big brother on the street. Right. That's right. Okay. Right. That's now, right. the big brother is different now today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because those big brothers are really trying to teach you some shit. They were really mm-hmm. trying to educate you. These big brothers today, boy. Some of like, them. Some, oof, you still wow. got some good ones. Well, you got some. You, you, you definitely. <laughs> right. 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 Look, I'm a big brother. Right. Tariq's Kilo a big brother. and, to, and so Tariq, we, totally no, no, different. I'm talking about. Right. But I know what you, you said. Know the majority. Like, yes. The yes. majority. Even though, and you know what? Even though certain big brothers had a lifestyle behind mm-hmm. them, 
they were still trying to teach the ones under them to do right. That's right. The ones now, they had a lifestyle teaching them that same level lifestyle. That's, right. That's sad. That's right. And they're dying. That's right. At a young age. Well, you know, but, you know, a lot of a lot of um, positive positive brothers came out of Scott. Mm-hmm. Came out of Clifford mm-hmm. Scott. And you know, my nephew, Jay Nava Williams, is my nephew. So you know, he's definitely another positive brother. So I it's it's a lot of positive um um brothers that came out of Clifford Scott High School, you know. And I know a lot of people used to be like, Oh, the girls are bougie. They used to say we was bougie and all kinds of stuff. But you know, Yo, it wasn't that but one. you know, people you wanted know, to be you, with girls you know from I, Scott. You know what I heard? You know what I heard? <laughs> Being it from Newark, you know what we heard? We heard that every girl in East Orange had herpes. <laughs> oh <No>. Lord! <laughs> he said that's herpes. Yeah. Remember that? Do you remember that? He was like the East Side girls got herpes, and I he forgot what the other one was. It was line. another one for the girls in Montclair. They was all stuck up in something. It was something, but it was like, and I mean, and they said all the boys from East Orange was punks. Yeah. So we came. We, I mean, they we really came from Newark. Mm-hmm. Thinking this was that in, at Scott, right? So it right. Was like all the dudes pumped, right? And it was like, wait a minute, no, <laughs> that dude just knocked him out. He is not a pump, right? It's not true, exactly. It was, it was like it's amazing <laughs> the stuff that you could put in a yep. child's head, right. yeah. And people, they really, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we we, we had some we no. had some really good we in had Jersey. some really good times. Very watching each other in Jersey, in Jersey, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and the talent yeah. out here is ugh. Yes. Magnificent. Yes. Let me tell you something. When I when I travel, right, like I'm in Greensboro, right? Mm-hmm. Greensboro, North Carolina. And I notice in every city there's talented people. Mm-hmm. Every city. But you only got a few cities where the actual machine operates. Mm-hmm. Right. Like the, the industry machine is in New York. Mm-hmm. It's in L.A. Right. Now it's part of it plays in Atlanta. Atlanta. Notice the word right. play. <laughs> Look, it comes in and out of Atlanta and plays in Atlanta, but... It's all these other cities where the machine is not, but the talent is still there. Yeah. Right. So everybody in their own individual city tries to make it in their city, and they find it hard because mm-hmm. you're away from the industry where the machine yeah. is. Yeah. Right. So you have to – I remember when we was in Jersey. I remember when um, Maury Winkler started managing – well, not managing. His brother Courtney was managing Nelly. You remember that, Tariq? Mm. But Nelly, we noticed Nelly had to come from St. Louis. Mm-hmm. To get close to New York. Right. It didn't pop off in St. Louis. Right. And so when he got the deal in New York, then he did his album and his video reps in St. Louis. Right. But a lot of people had to still go to the machine. Mm-hmm. You can't mm-hmm. expect this. And yeah. I'm talking to yeah. people like on my live that's from everywhere. You got to go to the industry. Don't right. expect that's the industry like, to come to you. Right. Like Hollywood. People right. don't even go to California Absolutely. for all the films. And, and, you know, Absolutely. And that's exactly, you're right. That's right. That's, so and how did you get to Lauren Hill? Forget all that. Forget well, Hollywood. Well, well, well. <laughs> Forget them people. No, let, about. let me tell you this funny story. Let me tell you this funny story, right? Yeah. So... We used to hang on Clinton Ave. My boy had a, is that my phone dying? No, Somebody's phone dying? that's probably mine. So we used to hang on Clinton Ave. My boy had a liquor store, right? Now inside this liquor store, we would go, out. when I say we would stick up now, mm-hmm. so every day, that was our medicine to go stick up, right? So one day, I saw a Nappy Heads video. Now we had a record deal last time. I saw the Nappy Heads video, and I saw Tame One in the video. So I was like, oh, snap, they're going to tame from Artifacts, right? So then one day we at the liquor store, Tame comes in, and he's like, yo, what's up? I know y'all got, I got I said, yo, Tame, I saw you in that video with that girl, right? That girl is kind of cute. Hook me up. He was like, hook you up? I can't hook you up. You talking about L? I can't hook you up with L. I said, y'all don't get this dude nothing to drink, y'all. Don't get him nothing to drink. No free drinks for him. <laughs> so he was like, for real, y'all ain't gonna give me no drink. I was like, don't give him nothing unless he hooked me up. I said, at least call her. So he called her. He called her right on the spot. He said, oh, yeah, this is my man. He got a record deal on Warner Brothers, blah, blah, blah. So we, we got on the phone. We exchanged numbers and everything. Make a long story short, I tried to get with him. That was. That was the, well, that was who the main was this thing, again? Right? Who was Lauren this? Hill. Say right? it. Yeah. So, right. He's so, L. So that could have been Linda. Out. So okay. we hung out. Mm-hmm. We used to go to IHOP. We used to go around mm-hmm. Chance Live, and out. you know now they had a single out. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of showing her off, like, yeah, that's the hey. girl with the video, blah blah. blah. So everybody like, oh, Kilo, okay, I see you, I see you. You know, you getting your little props, your little hood props. <laughs> you know. So then we was talking. I mean, we hung out a lot, but. We never formed a relationship. 
And let me tell you what was so funny, and I, I should have knew something was going on, right? Because one time I called and I was like, yo, let's hang out, blah, blah. And she said, she said to me um, something about we can't kick it. It was something to that note. Now, you know, Newark boys, you tell them you can't kick it, it's like, all right, boom, drop, stop. The phone just, just lose my number. Right. If I can't get with you, all right, all right peace. Yep, I'll let you. That was us. So I let like almost three weeks go by. So she called me out of nowhere. She said something that I have never heard. I mean, it really changed me as a young man. It, it took me from a little hood rat boy to a young man. Okay. And she said to me, she said, Kilo, I know what you're doing. I said, what? What do you mean, what I'm doing? She said, I know that you are not calling me because I said we couldn't kick it, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, and? Ooh. And she said, I just want to tell you that I cherish our friendship. I was like, what the? What, <laughs> what kind of, what kind of friend zone? What kind of education? <laughs> <laughs> that was some real miseducation no, no, right that there. Was some, that was some, some real miseducation. <laughs> you didn't see I that said, shit coming. I said, what? Hey, you you cherish you. my friendship? <laughs> so, so when she said that, it was kind of like, it was like, your mind kind of flipped like, did I just get gamed? Mm, got played. Or, but then it was kind of like, I think I elevated, though. I was like, I think I elevated to something else. I was right. like, you, didn't you take cherish? It negative. That's First right. of all, you cherish me? Cherish? That's right. And I'm your friend? That's right. Like, I have a female friend That's right. That's that I'm right. not really... So I was like, oh, this is dope. This is different. Yeah, yeah. So now I was like, all right, well, let me hear the rest of this. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, you know, we would, we would hang out, play music, all that kind of stuff. And she told me they was doing some kind of remake record. They went on a tour. She would call me from China, call me from different places. And then, Wing Williams get on the radio and goes, Lauren Hill's pregnant. My phone blew <laughs> up. When I tell you that phone blew up, Cass was like, Kilo, I seen you on Chance Live with old girl. Is that your baby? <laughs> I was like, no, dog. We never, we never. We never even kissed, bro. I was oh. like, no. Everybody was calling me thinking it was my baby. Wow. So I called Lauren. I said, yo, you pregnant? She was like, Kayla, where you at? Come see me. So I was like, all right. So I went over to her house, sitting in the kitchen, belly all out there. She said, listen, I just went through something with the Fugees. Um, I'm looking for some other people to work with. So at this time, Vader was living on Main Street. That was my partner from OCM. Mm-hmm. And he had twins that were staying at his house, Ted and Joe. They both were musicians. So I told Lauren, I said, she said, you know somebody do beats? I said, yeah, my man Vader, he dope. She said, you know somebody play keys? I said, Ted, he play, he dope. She said, what about guitar? I said, Joe, his brother. Damn. So she, she was she like, the whole this Negro is one there. lying fool right here. You know, she looked at me like, Kilo, oh, like, are you really? I, love you, I was like, look, yeah, she thought I was lying. I said, I'll be right back. I went over to Main Street. Told everybody, get dressed, we going to Lauren House, boom, boom, boom. Went over to Lauren House. She heard everybody's talent. It was blown away. And she was like, listen, we're going to work together, y'all. Let's do this. That's the beginning. The rest of it is when you buy the book and you read. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. But that is Bottom. the beginning. But, you know, but that is the beginning. Of the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Wow. And I'm also the owner, the only person in the world to have the making of the miseducation of Lauren Hill video footage. Okay. Wow. Okay, because I <laughs> Nobody has this. Okay. I got Lauren singing X Factor in the booth, us writing wow. in Jamaica, everything, us in the attic. All that stuff. Nice. Wow, that's, you know, amazing. So that's why it's so important to document, document everything. Document. Yes. And you know, you know how I got you that doing documented. This right now? You know how I got documenting this right now? I'm yes. Like, <laughs> I don't got time. <laughs> I want this damn footage for my future references. Okay. It's on my resume. Yes. Cha ching. You know, right. I I went to Jamaica. And you know, Nook Boy. That was one thing about Nook Boys. We didn't out too much right unless it was right. like a real you're right purpose. we didn't expand as much so when she took us to jamaica i called my ex-girl natasha i said buy a camera send it to me because mm -hmm. i'm probably never coming back to this place mm -hmm. and she sent me that camera and it started off with me just sightseeing i was like oh look at the mountains i was sounding real corny <laughs> like look, 
Look at the mountains. <laughs> you sound like a little kid. Oh, look at this thing on the tree. I don't know. Is it a mango? I don't know what that is. Next thing you know, Lauren was tapping me on the shoulder like, Kilo, get this idea. Na, 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 na. And I was just like, okay. Uh-huh. And then at, every time it was like, where's the camera? Where's the camera? It was right. always, where's the camera? That's right. And we was recording ideas on the camera. Wow. So it went to it went from sightseeing to we were really documenting Document, without even right. knowing. Right. Got their own your own story. Right? Awesome. Without even knowing. Documentary. Yeah. yeah it's awesome. serious. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's That's serious. What's up. Wow. So that was that was great. And uh it turned into a fight. Yeah. Of course everybody know about that lawsuit. But I always I call it I call it when people look at the lawsuit, they think, oh, damn, it's only about this girl who tried to jerk these boys, and, and it just, oh, it was just terrible. And I'm like, no, it's bigger than that. Right, right. We fought for writers all over the world, right. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. producers all over the world. After that lawsuit, it was one of the biggest lawsuits in the music industry. A lot of people don't even know it. Mm -hmm. That went against, it was Sony Records, Columbia Records, mm -hmm. Rough House Records. Wow. Das Communications, which was their management, mm -hmm. and Lauren. Wow. You get what I'm saying? So it was, was huge. Good. Right. I mean, that book that people buy called uh, The Book of uh, the Music Business, mm -hmm, big mm -hmm. gray book yeah. by an attorney named Donald Passman. Mm -hmm. That was her attorney. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was right. her attorney. Jeez. You know, that book like, away then. That and music, right? I mean, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. that, so that book away because it didn't work. I mean, and you know, and you know, the, the, the crazy part about it is when you're dealing in truth, yes, mm -hmm. that's right. you don't need all the hocus right. pocus. That's right. That's right. She had eight that's attorneys. Right. That's right. You and one of the guys who wrote the book on music. <laughs> and we had um, Londo McMillan from New York. He's mm -hmm. a popular attorney now in the music industry. And we had Peter Harvey, who was like, that was the, that was the, the rock waller. All right. But that one attorney with guys who were sincere and mm -hmm. just wanted to make good music, and we all had love. You know, I thought I was a friend. Right. I thought right. I was cherished. Yeah. Friend. Right, right. Okay. So this was serious. <laughs> like, cherished. Like, we wasn't just writers and producers. You right. just didn't meet we were, me yesterday. Listen, we were transportation. Mm -hmm. Right. We were security. Right. Exactly. We were her brothers. Right. Exactly. You understand? Wow. We, you could not get close to Lauren when we was there. Mm -hmm. You could not disrespect her, mm -hmm. or you'd be fighting some boys from North. And that's mm -hmm. right. Clearly, because that's where you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like that's the level we literally, yeah, it was relationship that you had. Yeah, it was serious. So you know that whole thing was just crazy, but wow. it, it taught us a lot. Because and I'm I'm a, and I'm gonna end this story with one thing, just to make people that's watching and listening understand that God's real. Mm -hmm. We was doing a deposition. Lauren would come in a deposition with this Bible. About this big. I was big. I mean, this thing was like a th thesaurus. Right? And <laughs> yeah, she, would throw it, she would throw it down on the table. Boom. And, you know, people say, good morning, good morning. She wouldn't say a word. Right? And then they would be like, uh, Lauren, um, all right, we're going to pick up, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, every, ans every answer was like, what? No. What? Yeah. Pfft. Huh? Are you friends with Mr. Pugh? Friendly. Uh oh. You know, it was just a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> But let me tell you. But let me tell you how that 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 last day went, and then I'm gonna end the story. And then they gotta buy the book. That's right. The movie, that's right. Whichever comes first. Right. That's right. But, I don't want you to tell. But the much. one thing that was deep was how that whole lawsuit came to a head. Was they said, Lauren, we're gonna um, pick up where we left off yesterday, and we're gonna go through the songs, and let's start with Lost Ones. Who wrote Lost Ones? Mm. She said, God. Mm. So, and you know, it went on from there. You, you watch the movie for that. But, <laughs> but when God entered the building, uh huh, uh huh, all the lawyers, everybody was dumbfounded. Mm. They didn't know how to dispute what she just said. Right. They didn't even know where the answer came from. Because every other day she came in with an attitude, but this particular day, we was like, Lauren looked different. Right. And when she said God, and they went to the, they said, what about the next song? God. What about the next song? God. It was like. Okay. Now, here's a deep part about the album that a lot of people, and these, these are little things that people really didn't pay attention to. Right. 
They played the record. All right, the song Doo Wop. Mm-hmm. Like that thing, that thing. Right. Everybody know that, right? Mm-hmm. What it said? What it said at the very beginning of the song? Wait, three weeks. You be looking? What? No, that's the wait, verse. That's the, but what said at the very beginning of the song? Oh God! I can't Don't forget about the dean. That's the king. Okay. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And then we go to another song where he said, um, "How you gonna win when you're sleeping with the gin?" Right. right. Come again. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Then another song. I want to make sure I'm with the 144. Mm-hmm. Right. So you put God all across this album right. in different religions. Mm-hmm. Islam, Christianity, Rastafarianism. I mean, she had all these different religions, right? Right. So, when you're putting a message like that out in the world, who gonna get mad? That mm. was like, yo, oh, well, hold, hold up. Yeah. yeah. You trying to inspire all these uh-huh. millions of people? What the hell up? Uh huh. So now you just became public enemy number one yeah. well, so you to the devil. To the enemy. So, That's right. so now the devil say, I got to make you look like an ass now, yeah. some kind of way. Mm-hmm. This message is just, it's inspiring way too many people. Right, yes. right. You have people. It's, con- you, it's contradicting. It's I don't think you ever, ever saw locks. As much as you saw at that time, black, dark-skinned sisters right, with locks. Right, right, right. So then, I mean, so it was kind of like a, the devil had a real problem. Yeah, yeah. But so he said, I, I need something to make, to, to water this message down, water it out. I'm going to use something. What is some of her shortcomings? Right. What's her, what is, wait, maybe it's greed. Mm. Maybe it's greed. Mm-hmm. Wait, maybe... She's hurt from this brother, so let me send some people to whisper in her ear, mm. it's you, baby. It's all about you. You did this all by yourself. Right. This is yours. Right. It's you, baby. It's nobody else matter. It's you. That's right. You forget what God really sent you mm-hmm. to help you deliver your message. Right. So the devil played his game. And what happened? It, exactly. You, people don't even know what happened. But when you ask a person about Lauren Hill, they be like, oh, she went crazy. Yeah, that's the oh, first she went, they say. Why do they say that? Yeah, that's the first Because they, they look at her and it, something happened, but they don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then if you sit and talk to Lauren, she hit you with some Bible scriptures. She hit you with some stuff. You be like, wait a minute, she mad educated. Right. Wait, she's mad intelligent. Mm-hmm. Why are they saying she went crazy? Mm-hmm. What happened? Then you could see who the biggest enemy was. Right. It was the devil, but it was herself too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was deep. Mm-hmm. It was deep. I mean, it's some deep stuff, but it was a, and it wasn't. Let me tell you something. It was so much. It was so real mm-hmm. that long, I could look at Lauren today and say that is definitely not my enemy. Right. That's my sister. Mm-hmm. I still love that sister. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know that she was attacked. Right. And like we gonna be attacked. I've been attacked a lot in my life. Right. You know what I mean? Right. We all we uh, all have been, right? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and sometimes you don't get a chance to say, "Yo, I apologize." That's right. Absolutely. Right. To you for whatever I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, one, I believe one day when I see her, she gonna apologize. She gonna say, "Kilo," you know, and it's gonna it's gonna be because they realized what was real. Yeah. Right. You right. like you know you ever hurt somebody heart. And they, mm-hmm. you know, they really loved you, yes. and you be like, "That was I was just dumb at that time." Right. And then you see them again, you're like, "Oh my god, this, yes. oh my, god. you can't even yes. think straight because yes. mm-hmm. you're like, yes. I gotta apologize, I gotta say, so. I gotta make yes. it right." And hopefully, you have to get out of yourself and just, you know, hold accountability of what Absolutely. you did. Right. So Absolutely. that's the part of you got to come from out of the pride part, mm-hmm. and hopefully, like you said, it'll come one day. Absolutely. And I'm like, look, look, I was there because I had an interview. He said it was going to come. <laughs> I said it was going to come one day. It's going to come, definitely, you know. And if it don't, it's all good. I still got it's, my you story. You have to live like that's right. She got hers that's and right. I got that's mine. Right. Exactly. And mine exactly. has already proved itself. <laughs> that's right. You get what I'm saying? And if you exactly. want to see the footage, let's go to the footage. Know you know what they say? <laughs> roll, the roll, roll the tape. Roll the tape. Right. <laughs> roll oh, the tape. Exactly. Really? You know. That's but you know, but I tell you what's was really good. The industry got real crazy for a while. I took okay. a break. Mm-hmm. Vader took a break. He moved to Florida. I moved to North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And when I got there, I got an opportunity to become more than what I was when I was here in Jersey. Okay. When I was in Jersey, I was a rapper. I was a songwriter. 
and I was the ex hood dude. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But now today I'm a filmmaker. That's right. I'm a mm-hmm. filmmaker. That's On right. my fifth film, okay, yes. it takes a village part one and two with Flower Child Productions. Okay. That is another organization out in North Carolina that's ran by Morgan Jones. And she works with the kids. Mm -hmm. So when I decided to do um, a a film about kids, I reached out to her. We partnered up, and we made it do what it do. And my partner, Valerie Johnson, and and then I did another film called Twisted Love Mm -hmm. with Latika Carter. And we did um, a movie called Love's Hue, which is a romantic comedy. Okay. We just did a musical called Find My Way. It's going to be here at the Hub because I'm about to send the films to Tariq. Okay. And I want Tariq to set up a day for the kids a movie night, yes. and show the kids yes. and then put me on live so I can talk to the kids and right. he do his Q&A, the questions. Mm-hmm. What did y'all get from the movie? What points did y'all learn? Absolutely. All that. And we're going to do the thing like that and we're going to exactly. spread this I'm thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, exactly. and we bring it. And, and look, for my watchers on my live, Save the Arts Awards yeah. is coming to North. Yeah. It's coming Woo. to North. With my brother Tariq yes. and the Hub FP Youth Outcry is going right. down. <laughs> it's going down. Save the Arts Awards awesome. coming to North. Awesome, awesome. That is it. We coming. <laughs> we are coming. That's right. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. That is it. That's <laughs> it. Get on my, my damn props right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. Absolutely. It's going down. It's Absolutely. Going down. And yeah. Save the Arts Awards is something that's oh spectacular. We were we were able to experience that. I took my um he, uh, Kilo actually um invited the dance team that my dance team down. They came and they actually performed the very first one. Awesome. It was oh my god, just awesome. awesome. Okay. It was awesome. And so, and Tariq I, hit me with something today that I didn't know. Mm-hmm. He said that was the first time those kids ever left Newark. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was incredible. Yeah. So, like, so you took them down to Carolina. I took them down to North Carolina. Carolina. 2010. Yeah. Okay. That was nice. That's right. Beautiful. Yep. Word up. Yeah. And see, Beautiful. for those that don't know, so you might not even know because this is being introduced to you. <laughs> Save the Arts Awards <laughs> is the first award show in the world, in the world, the entire world, mm-hmm. to award painters, mm-hmm. visual artists, painters, sculptors architects and photographers that's right beautiful. all visual artist people that's right i mean without these people can we see any beauty exactly. in the world that's right exactly these buildings wouldn't been up right. what it was for some architects yeah we got the album yeah. covers on the wall from these that's, artists that's you know that's right. photographers just like even for the beat makers they get lost yeah those that do the beats they get lost so now they are bringing them to the forefront and say listen these are the real people behind the scenes. That's right. Because if, if it wasn't for this damn hot beat, damn it, you probably that's would right. never heard this person. That's right. So like you said, that's a good thing. You see all the art. That's, that makes yep. a whole lot of sense. Yep. And yeah. And he's a creator. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's the one that yeah. created that whole thing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm yeah. really excited because, you know, like you said, a lot of people, you know, they have so much, you know, Art in front of them, they don't yes. know how to display. They, they feel right. like, like, you know, okay, what am I doing this for? That's right. Now, this is the reason why you're doing it. And this That's is the right. thing you, you, you have, have to. to be it, he, this is a real show, a real, a uh, a real red carpet event award yeah, show like oh, i mean if you've ever because i've been to the, the mm-hmm. billboard awards and we you mm-hmm. did the whole yeah. little thing um you if you ever been to a real award show i'm talking about a real award show like this he he did it at the um the uh, the North Carolina, Carolina Theater, the yeah. Carolina Theater. Wow. I mean, you're talking about I mean, beautiful. Was it yes. was beautiful. Yes. Wow. It then even afterwards, you know, we. I mean, the kids ate. It was just. I mean, it was just really. They exper- yeah. Their experience. They were so. They were so. Yeah. They had the ice. Sco- I mean, it was just Word. beautiful. Really? It really yeah. was beautiful. beautiful. And when yeah. she it's said, beautiful. she said, real award show. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna go even to where it's a real award. Right. Like Absolutely. this award, award, I drew this award. Yeah. I drew a protractor. So, so now uh-huh. I'm going to ask you this. You know, down the line, you can keep this going, like mm-hmm. an Emmy Awards, or mm-hmm. American Music Awards, and stuff like that. You will keep this for yourself, and you will do it every year. Because you know people sell out, like, ah, oh, here's somebody else, and they just... They ain't selling well, out. That, that's not I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> I probably won't control it forever. Right. Okay. Who knows? I mean, 
My brother right here might be controlling in a couple of years, mm-hmm. but I will always be the founder, right? And I'll okay. always be a partner. Of it. Okay, right. You know good. what I mean? Good. I mean, good. because this is great. Bigger than, like they say, nobody else taking bigger than you. Us. Yeah, they say do something that's bigger than you. Mm-hmm. This is right. bigger than me. That's right. right. These artists, I, yes. I just felt like, I mean, these artists never been acknowledged. Not. Never. Right. right. Yeah. These guys, I mean, we all watched Good Times, and we saw JJ pretending Ooh. like he was paying them Ernie yeah, yeah. Barnes uh-huh. pieces. Uh-huh. Yes. And uh-huh. I, yes. why didn't I know who the heck Ernie Barnes was? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. This guy was on, his art was on TV. on TV. Right. Isn't that something? I was just yep. like, why we didn't know that? Mm-hmm. You know? Exactly. And I, I found that out later, too. I'm like, he was a paint that shit. Let me yeah. tell you something. At the first Save the Arts Awards, Annie Lee, Larry Poncho Brown, Charles Bibbs. That's just to say those. Let me just say those three names. Mm-hmm. Annie Lee, Charles Bibbs, and Larry Poncho Brown. If you don't know anything about black art, mm-hmm. those names are the prominent. Okay. They are the names. Mm-hmm. I mean, I went to this thing called October Gallery. It's a festival that happens in Philly mm-hmm. at Temple University. And they talked about it was a couple hundred artists that come every year. And when I came in there, and they would always say, you got to go to Charles Bibbs' booth. You got to go to Larry Poncho Brown's booth. And mm-hmm. I'd be like, really? Are these guys like the it? And they was like, no, you don't understand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. These guys are black art. Like, yeah. you don't know black art if you don't know these names. Right. Okay. And I was like, holy smokes. Mm-hmm. These guys, and they came. Mm-hmm. They came to this award show right. and was happy to have the award in their hand. I was like, wow. Right, you know, right. it was amazing. A whole new it was world. amazing, but you got to see the award. Yeah, you, you have to see the award world. itself. So now you do it every year. Actually, no. <laughs> I wish. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. the first show. I'm just be be clear with the, with the people mm-hmm. watching. The first show cost me forty three thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. Seven thousand dollars went to the awards alone. Mm-hmm. The actual awards. Right. Seven G's on something I'm giving away. Yeah, right. seven G's. You know, that was free. Like that's a lot. Yeah, that's, yeah. Now but it was keep worth in mind, it. we wasn't funded. Right. Okay. So this is my pockets here mm-hmm. saying I want to acknowledge you. Right. You get what I'm saying? So it was like so the first after the first show, you know, it was funny because you go to, we we human. That's so right. After the first show, I'm like, man, I could have bought me a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I could have did this. I could have, man. What was I thinking yeah. about? Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. And, then uh-huh. I, and then I said, you know what, God? I said, I did it. It was something that I always wanted to do. And mm-hmm. you gave you gave it to me. You gave me the outlets. Right. And you brought my family down. Mm-hmm. You you made it pop. You made it big. I said, God, but if you want it done again, you're going to help me out because I yes. can't do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? About the universe. Listen. And guess what? In 2013, mm-hmm. the first one was 2010. In 2013, High Point University, which mm-hmm. is the it's the third largest business university in the country, mm-hmm. okay. he gave me the two million dollar building mm-hmm. for, for free. Yeah, gave me over four thousand dollars worth of food, then gave me two shuttle buses <laughs> to take the people from the building to the food. Yep, and he nice. said, and said I'll get, I'll do a tour and show y'all the co- university is. Immaculate. When I tell you this thing is beautiful, High Point University is beautiful. beautiful. And he just blessed us with it. Mm-hmm. You and I was like, God, you well, you did, it. Yes. You, <laughs> did it. you, you sure did it. You did it. And I mean, we had, we had an awesome show. Mm-hmm. We made some good money. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was, I mean, and then the artists changed. Mm-hmm. Like we had, let me, let me think of some of these people. Let me think of one lady. She does the copyrights in like, she was doing... She was over the copyrights of all visual art stuff mm-hmm. at the White House. Mm. Okay. She was one of the artists that came. Really? Wow. Yes. Wow. We had Carol, what's her name? Carol Fureman. She's a hyper-realist sculptor. Mm-hmm. She came yeah. from New York. She told me, her people told her, don't go to that. It's too small. We don't even know what that is. Wow. She said, I'm going to go because it seems interesting. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. She came and she said, oh, my gosh, I had a ball. I love you guys. Please come <laughs> see me in New York. I asked her, I said, what's your your least expensive piece? She says, 15000 mm-hmm. I said, what's your most expensive piece? She said, 900000 Wow. Straight rich. So 
The second show, the artists were millionaires. See, they're not thinking thinking about the price. They are looking at, listen, this guy has put us in the forefront. Somebody listening to us. Someone acknowledges us. Right, right. You know, know, people buy our stuff, but people realize, like, some people... Like man, we will we'll never get nothing. We'll get acknowledged, mm-hmm. that's right. And now they get acknowledged, right. and they she was so happy. And even happy. though she, the friends listen, thought it was listen, friends don't do that. Listen, Annie Lee, Annie Lee passed away now, right? Mm-hmm. And she got on stage and she said, "This young brother called me, and I told this young brother I don't get on planes." Mm-hmm. <laughs> she said, "But you know, he talked to me so much that I just said I'm a go." I'm a go. Mm-hmm. And we gave her the Lifetime Achievement Award. Nice. And she smiled and she told her niece, she said, I had, I just had a ball and she had fun. And then when she passed away, I felt so good right. that I was able to bring Look her a smile that Look at that. and acknowledge Look at her. That. Exactly. A lot of people had bought her art, but right. I acknowledged her. Right. And somewhere in her house, else knows her. Somewhere in the house today, that award sits. 16. Right. Look right. at that. Right. Love it. Absolutely. And you gave Love her the what award? The Quintessence Award, which is the Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And the other yeah. artist who got that, her name was Lynn Petard. You remember watching Channel 13 and the guy with the afro yes. used to be painting and talking mm-hmm. all slow? Mm-hmm. And, and But remember, it was a, a lady. She came on. It was a white guy with the know, afro. Everybody, everybody knew. But then it was another show with a lady. Mm. She was a white lady. And she used to talk and paint as well. Okay. Well, that was Lynn Petard. Wow. She came. Wow. Now, these people are major people in their own right. Right. But when I said I'm acknowledging them, they, were, they felt that that was so odd. Right. You call right. me? You want to acknowledge me for what I do? Mm-hmm. What? Now, Wonderful. And they were just like, wait, you're black? Wait, what? <laughs> you know me? <laughs> you know my art? <laughs> I was like, yes, it's amazing. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Me, and I'm going to tell you something. That until you get to know some artists, mm-hmm. you will never truly appreciate life. Yeah. If you meet some artists, man, these I mean, you have some artists, they take trash, mm-hmm. literal trash, mm-hmm. and could take they could take your throwaway styrofoam, they could take this cup, mm-hmm. turn it upside down, paint it, put 500 together, and make the most beautiful lamp you ever seen, right? And you'd be right. like, man, you made a lamp with plastic cups, yep. And they'd be like, and then they'll want to sell it for five hundred dollars or something. Mm-hmm. And you'd be like, how the heck? And you start, and you listen to, you know, how they say artists is crazy. Mm-hmm. They just have, it's it's that they open that other eye, right? Where they see things out you don't see it that way. Exactly. You know? exactly. And if you meet at least twenty of them and talk to at least twenty in a row. You're going to get another appreciation for life and things around you, mm-hmm. period. You're just going to see, okay. you're going to start yeah. to see things a mm-hmm. little differently. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's that's yep. me now. So I appreciate so, so now much. now you look at trash as art. Everything. Right. Everything. 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 Everything can be art. Everything. Everything you break down in this room can be a part of art. Absolutely. Right. That's how you say. Absolutely. Once you begin to talk to one of you, realize like, okay, what we may think is trash. I'm telling you. You know. I, got, I have such a great respect for the creatives. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Let me tell you something, and that's another thing. From Newark, being from here, they always painted the picture that if you wanted to do anything, you always had to have a certain thing, mm-hmm. and it cost a lot of money. Right. When I went down south, and I'm going I'm to call it the creatives, but I'm going to even call it some of the, the redneck theory. Okay. I have seen some people make some stuff out of nothing. Mm-hmm. I've seen people take their phones and make a whole movie wow. with their phone. Wow. And you'd be like, you did that with an iPhone? Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's mm-hmm. amazing. So it's yeah. like there's nothing mm-hmm. you can't do anymore. That's right. Yes. That's it right. is here. Yeah. You can just do it. If you got the will to do it, right. just do it. And with yeah. the technology now, I'm it's like you, everywhere. Uh, everywhere. I mean, yeah. think. I mean, Absolutely. Years ago, we couldn't even have mics in our hand unless we was uh, <laughs> a hot tracks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Ralph McDaniels up in here you? with this mic. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Hot Tracks, and we're about to show a brand new video. <laughs> yeah. Here's yeah. a new video from Whitney Jeez. Houston. <laughs> brown eyes. You know Absolutely. You know, look, we got mics. We got the little thing. Look, we don't, you know, you know, you know, put this together. You can't even do that back in the day. <laughs> Just the, a mic like this. You remember dreaming to own a mic? Mm. Yes. You remember that back in the day? I did. We were young rappers wishing we could have I a did. microphone. Mm. I did. 
We yeah. would sit there. Yeah. We'd be having our Taking cones. brushes and shit. Yeah, they be. <laughs> exactly. Hands. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. And now, and now look. My look, my phone ringing right in the middle of my live. My live probably going to cut off. <laughs> 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 like it just ran. It's good. It'll stop. It'll um. It'll it stop. Then you might have to push resume. It might Word. say resume. You wait, have wait, to wait, push resume. It, but we 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 are um. You know, again, we just we we just thank you for being here. It is such yeah. it's such a pleasure. It was such a pleasure, and you are that hour still. Up, you okay. that hour. Uh, hour. That's all right. <laughs> I okay. was about to be eleven thirty. Oh, it's about to be eleven thirty. Yes, oh, that is okay. But well, my ride 11, probably outside. Ah, that's probably your ride calling. Ride calling. <laughs> right. It's about to be eleven thirty. Oh, so yeah, snap. we been we been on it for more than an hour. That's what's up. But but it, but when you're enjoying yourself, you know the time mm-hmm. kind of flies. So you know, but. Absolutely. You 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 you've been a joy. We definitely yeah. appreciate you coming on and, and experiencing, um, you know everything. Just just everything with you. You know, I you I, you know you drive. I drive you crazy. You drive me crazy. Like, what are you doing now, Tanya? Like, okay, stay, stay still. Keep up. Be like Tanya. Now what? You know, but. <laughs> I was on the live the other night watching. She was at some dance contest. I'm just watching. Yeah, the dance uh-huh. Contest. She's like, he like, what's she? I like that one right there. No, that oh, one's going to lose. I'm like, he always, like, they all dancing. Always on the move. Oh, man. <laughs> always on the move. Yes, but it's a it's a beautiful thing. I um Absolutely. again, I just I just enjoyed you. I'm glad you I'm glad you made it. I right, really right. am glad yeah. you made it here. And um, you know, we we look forward to all of the beautiful things that you you have right. coming up. And you know, anytime you need me, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. So, Absolutely. You know, we, we come here to go see ahead. The movie, bring so that say the arts. Okay. Bring that say the arts up it. here. You already know. Oh, yeah. We you know I'm I'm there. I'm right. there. We're you know it. anything anything bro bro got going on. I'm 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 here with him anyway. You know. So that's my that's it. my brother. I appreciate the hub and just just let just being able to be you know housed here. You know yeah. to yeah. have the station here. You know he didn't have to open up you yeah. know the doors for me to be able to do this. So I'm definitely right. appreciative to him. That's you right. know for everything. Yeah. So that's right. That's right. That's right. We family. So you know it's not it, it ain't you know it's not like we just we just here. That's you right. know, but people need to know. Right. That, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Word. That's right. Help us become better. And people have to. And people have to understand too. That, you know, we don't do yeah. this. We don't do this for nothing. Although we. Do, although we. We. We don't actually get the monetary. You know, all the time. Mm-hmm. We do. We, we do what we do because of the love that we have for our people. You know, for the youth. You know, for our elders right. and everything. You know, and that's what we try to make people understand. You know, so much like this is not easy. You know, to keep to keep. You know, the roof. You know, to keep a mm-hmm. roof over all of these children that are that are coming here to to, to keep the the doors open. You that's know, right. everything costs money, and that's why we always you know try to let people know. You know, I need you guys to 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 uh, sew. So mm-hmm. sees into the hub, you know, That's so right. into all of this, you know. Um, that might be your ride, though, for real, Kilo. That might be. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, that's this a ride. Is- <laughs> Again, you know, yeah. but we got you know. I'm I'm just I just wanted you know just let everybody know that. But I'm gonna let you guys do y'all last. Uh, y'all say what it is that y'all need to say. I don't want Kilo. You gonna get a beating. <laughs> you gonna get a beating. <laughs> You're like that's the ride. <laughs> yes. So you know, just um, any you know, give them some last words. Give the people some last words and everything, and then we are gonna get up out of here. That's what you want me to say? Yeah, she said, give them some. Last oh, just words. give them some last words. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to you. Um, let me think. Um. Oh, he's so sweet. Uh, here's my last words. My last words is get your kids involved, okay. period. Mm-hmm. If there's organizations like The Hub, like Save the Arts, and other organizations that's out there working mm-hmm. with the youth, get involved as a parent yes. and get your kids involved. That's yes. the main thing. Get your kids yes. involved. They don't get have to involved. just sit home mm-hmm. and play video games all yes. day long. That's right. While you got kids out there creating mastermind stuff, you know? Right. And it's like, we don't have to be in the back of the class no more. That's right. That's you know, right. come to the front and learn something. That's you know right. what I mean? It's there for us to learn. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? right. So definitely get your kids involved. That's it. And support. Like, really do that. Mm-hmm. And that's my last words because we need more of that. Yes. Right. 
We right. need more of that. More parent involvement. As Instead well. of buying them hundred dollar mm-hmm. sneakers, exactly. Buy the fifty dollar ones and put that's fifty dollars right. in the organization that's, right. that's helping your kids. Exactly. That's right. Period. Exactly. That's, that's right. it. Exactly. And put it up. That's right. And more parent involvement as well. Don't just send your children thinking this is not a babysitting service. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Get involved. Get right. involved. You know, right. Don't just send your child because you feel like it's because it's free. No, that's right. get right. involved. That's, that's right. right. You know, you don't know what's going on. That's right. You know the. With the community, don't that's just right. like oh, I'm gonna sit around. No, like you said, get that's the keyword involved. That's right. it right exactly. there. Right, exactly. right. It's not even hard. Especially that we exist. We exactly. do exist. Exactly. If we didn't exist, yeah. they'll be complaining. You see that? Nobody exactly. There for their kids. Exactly. We are here, and that's so what we talk about. Us. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like use I said, not as a babysitting service, exactly. but as a leverage to come together as parent community. That's right. Right. Because you you have plenty of people that that say there's nothing for my kids to do. (laughs) That's a lie. That's right. That's That's just an outright lie. And I'm going to tell you, you're lying. And you know, that's (laughs) the reason why they pull back a lot of resources because it's not being utilized. Mm -hmm. So that's just why. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So we have to do what we have to do, but we're going to continue doing what it is that we do. We're not going to stop. We're not. <laughs> we're not going to stop. We can't. We can't. Right. You know, at, at this point, we really can't. Um, you know, so Mina, you can say your, um, your goodbyes, and then I'm yes. going to say mine. Oh, and we gonna my be God. Yet. This has been an amazing interview. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so excited to find out that was the. You better have footage. Because I'm going to have my footage in your asset. Okay? Because that's going to be some asset for me later. Boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Y'all don't mind me because my mouth is serious. I was quiet today because, you know, I was vibing with Keela. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, if he was reckless, I'd have been reckless with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd have been on the bandwagon. But you know what? He educated <laughs> us today. So I had to keep it quiet. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Had to get him on the floor because you know, he has a lot of, you know, fan base. So I just had to keep it quiet. But we thank you guys for tuning in with us. Thank you for being here for the new year of 2018. Word. And you know what? The best is yet to come. It is never too late to be a better you. That's okay? right. And like we say, get involved. All right? This is the That's hub. It. This is Champagne Entertainment. This is the Champagne Room. That's right. The radio. Hey, we all in it. Hey, Kilo. That's What's it. good? <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> oh, I'm coming down. Absolutely. Look, you Absolutely. open up door. I'm coming down with it. No, okay. <laughs> Shit. Woo! Come, hey, come, come on, on, come on, on. come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. What's the <laughs> boy? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. That's right. Got it from the bottom. Got it here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You won't want to shoot me in the jail. You know? Y'all better know. I hope y'all got it. It's coming to North. Let's go. Yes, yes, that's 2018. Right. That's right, that's Get right. It. 2018, great things in 2018. Yes, that is it. yes. But well, we want to say this, again, this ain't, the, this ain't the party red cup. This is the water red cup. That's right. It's water in that cup. <laughs> it is definitely water I in that cup. Bubbling. Absolutely. <laughs> So we out. Of, we are about to be out of here again, 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 again. You were tuned in to the Champagne Room Radio Show with your host Tanya Champagne and my girl Mina. And you know we had Kilo in the building, in the along building. with Mister Mister Best over here. You already Word know Al Tariq Best down at the hub. We where where uh Radio Newark is house our radio station. And again, we thank you, thank you, thank you to all two hundred and thirty two plus countries that are watching. We appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for 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 basically. Just making our station um, what it is today because we started out with, I started out with maybe 90, 90 countries. We went to 100 and, 100 and maybe 20 something and 189 and now we're at 232. What? How nice. awesome can you? How awesome can yes. that be? We appreciate you guys for watching and appreciate you guys for being here. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And God bless each and every one of you. And we out of here. With a bubbly. Yeah, let's get some pictures. Mina wants some bubbly. (laughs) 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 Yes, just put that on the live. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, let's go. All right, I got. I think one of my cameras. Yep, I'm about to come. Right. Uh-huh. Big map right here. 
and y'all watching Champagne. Jersey, stand up. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Like Steve Block, man. It's Champagne TV, y'all already know. I'm gonna be hosting like game shows and shit on that shit. What's up? This is your girl, Dan. Ah, Hanging ah, with my ah, name, Rashia, ah, and you are watching Champagne. This is Red Man Emma in the building. Y'all already know. Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Dan. Hanging with my name, Rashia, and you are watching Champagne. This is Red Man I'm in the building. You already know. Shout out to the Champagne Room Radio Show, baby. Yo, what's can't go kick the legendary rapper UTFO? What you doing right now is you're checking out the Champagne Room Radio Show, you heard? Yo, this your boy Chris Ock from the old 50 Bull. I want him out to the Have you ever closed your eyes and gone to a special place in your mind? Can I take you there? Realize that down you go, unwind. It's been a long day and I know you deserve to feel good. So let's sip some champagne and take away the day Before I make you feel like you should Um, share the video, share the video, Baby, share the want, video That's what you need to do Gotta share the video, gotta do it Baby, I just wanna welcome you To the champagne room Every Thursday I'm from 7 to 9 <laughs> Thank you.